In the previous lecture, when we were talking about schema.org, I explained how we are able to actually uh, structure relationships on the web, and now we uh, actually can explain those relationships to the search engine in a way which is clear to them, and how we can use the schema.org vocabulary. Now, uh, when we build up a relationship, so when we uh, make a simple statement like uh, Gennaro works at Warlitz, this simple statement is actually called a triple. A triple is the basic element of the semantic web. It's really the basic uh, element that makes it up. And when we mix triples, actually, when we, meet, when we, we mix several statements like Gennaro works at Warlitz, Warlift is a tech company, and all the other statements that we can build around it, we actually build up what is called the knowledge graph. A knowledge graph is a, a combination of triples which are published in a format which is called linked data. Linked data is a way for us to connect all the information that we have on the web, and so that we can query them in a logical way, pretty much like you know we like to do like as humans. So we like to find things in a logical way, we allow and we enable machines to do that. Also, knowledge graph is very important because this is a massive data set. It's a massive uh, data set that can be queried at any time by search engines or by any other machine to actually retrieve and find information of any sort. That's why it's important. And that is why when we're talking about the AI evolution, what we really mean is that at the base of this revolution, there is a massive data set that we can finally query. Because uh, since a few decades, uh, companies like Google had a massive amount, massive amount of data, but they were not able to process the data as much and as efficiently as uh, they wanted. Until the knowledge graph technology uh, came out, and actually Google started to build its knowledge graph in 2012. Now, uh, with Wordlift, we enable companies to build their knowledge graph, and this is very important because if Google can use a knowledge graph technology, that doesn't mean that only giants or tech companies can use it. You can use it also to power up your SEO strategy. For instance, we've been helping uh, uh, tech, uh, one of the largest tech publications uh, in the world, which is called The Next Web, to build their knowledge graph. And they're using it in several ways. So one way, one payoff of the knowledge graph is that you actually get uh, organic traffic and advanced features from Google, like feature snippet from your content. Uh, but other advantages of Knowledge Graph are the fact that you can actually extract very important data from your content and you can actually uh, create also an internal navigation within your site. So there are many applications for Knowledge Graphs and one of the most interesting uh, in the future is going to be also voice search because Knowledge Graph enables us to actually query massive amount of data and find answers from this data so we can give these answers back to our users. So that's why a knowledge graph is important.